Hello everybody and welcome back to the new safe hour. We are back once again, jumping in for another run. We're building up a streak once again, but before we start the episode, I just have to quickly say, and I'll be showing it on screen in just a moment, um, the absolute legend known as Unobtained actually fucking got the tattoo. I don't know if you remember, but about a month or so ago, I titled a video, if I win this run, someone will get a tattoo of the turtle melon. And they actually fucking did it. I cannot believe that they did it. It's fucking crazy. But anyways, um, we had a discussion after that episode went out, uh, basically just saying, like, I, I was just dumbfounded by if this would actually happen or not. But they said, hey, I want you to put it to a vote for your community on your Discord to vote for a design so people can submit designs and then everyone can vote on them. So people submitted designs. There was about four or five top contenders. Um, but one of them that is the actual design that you'll be seeing on screen that is the tattoo was created by someone in my Discord called One Hand. So thank you to them for creating an absolutely awesome design. You can see in the design that it incorporates all of the elements of the run itself. If you want to go back and take a look at the run, it's got like the shard of glass in there, it's got leprosy, it's got the, the strange snake item we got, uh, it's got Jacob and Ezo in there. It's really fucking cool. But yeah, they actually got the tattoo and I just wanted to give them a big shout out and show it on screen because it's just, it's just fucking cool. Like, and I actually think the tattoo looks really fucking good. So, I can't believe they did it. It's mental. It's something that I never thought I'd see the day of. Uh, but, <laughs> here we are. Anyways, yeah, let's jump into the episode. And yeah, again, unobtained. You, you are another kind of legend. My god. Anyways, who are we gonna play as today? What, what have you got for me here, game? What have you got for me? Eve again? Stop giving me Eve. Job. We did Job recently. Hey, we'll do Lost. We'll do regular Lost. I'm down with that. Okay, let's go. We've not done much as Lost, so we'll see what we can do here. Jump into a regular hard mode run. But yeah, I, I genuinely, ah, oh, I can't believe it. Gat diggity damn. <laughs> I, like, they, they, they said they'd do it. Like, the, the bet sort of got made a long time ago, and they said they'd do it. But I was like, nah, they won't actually do it. It's just going to be... They just said it. It's just a bit of funnies. And then we got the design, and I was still like, eh, they're not going to do it. It's just the design. It's whatever. And then, yeah, they messaged me, like, yesterday, and were like, hey, look, here's a picture of it on me. I was like, what the... F this is crazy. Also, the game is taking... A ridiculous amount of time to load right now. Like, to the point where I think it might have crashed. Hmm. Game? Are you okay? Would you like to try again? How? How? It crashed. How? <laughs> How are you gonna crash this early into a run? Come on now. Come on now. Don't play me like that. Don't play me like that, game. Just starting out. I apologize for the black screen for you guys. The game will be booting up again momentarily. Oh, God. The foibles of playing modded Isaac. Tis a fickle mistress. But yeah, I'm excited to play the Lost here. Um, we've been playing... We've played it, it Lost pretty recently to Ultra Greed. That was uh, quite a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. But yeah, we, we better not lose our streak now because of that. Where's the Lost? There you are. Right, don't fucking crash again. Really? It says Lost. We are the Lost. You, you, you are correct, game. You are correct. We are indeed the Lost. I still hate the fact that what- I don't know what mod it is, I'm pretty sure it's the uh, Tarnished Character mod. It just makes the loading, like, of, of your run take so goddamn long. Like, a just ridiculous amount of time for some reason. I can hear the music. There we go. We're good. Okay. Uh, we'll take Wiggly Boy. We will certainly take Wiggly Boy off the bat here. Um, and I don't know if I can actually play that guy. He takes away heart containers. I'd imagine it would just kill me if I tried to play that. But yeah, Snakey Boy here coming in for the poison. I think he's real goddamn good. Um, very happy to have him on board. Can we poison through the, uh, yeah, we can. Nice. I mean, not that we need to poison, really, because our Snakey Boy is going to be doing all the poisoning for us. Honestly, early on, this guy's going to absolutely carry us absolutely carry us. As for the question of the day today, what is your go-to savory treat? Like, if you're gonna get a, a treat, something that you really like, I don't know, you just don't care about, like, you you don't care about how many calories it is or whatever, what's, like, your go-to savory treat? 
I kind of want to ask a bunch of just consecutive food related questions about what people's favorite types of food are like sweet savory like each episode a different one I'm just really into food at the moment. I mean, I'm always into food, but especially at the moment um Yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead Ah, oh, really we get Cuba meat please when it rerolls don't uh, screw me over don't have a bomb for this guy, unfortunately. I probably shouldn't have done that. Probably should have left, left the snake on him. The snake does good contact damage as well. It's not just poisoning. It does half decent poison, uh, half decent contact damage too. Did get hit there, but we should be fine. All good. And a wooden spoon. It's not great, but it's something. Uh, we'll just go down to the regular floors here. It's not great, but it's something. For me, my go-to, like, savoury, like, treat, I, I, I love, I love me a scotch egg. Scotch eggs are one of UK, the UK's best inventions. They're just absolutely amazing. For anyone that doesn't know what it is, it's literally just, um, a, a hard-boiled egg. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, like, like a, like, like a hard-boiled egg. Sometimes it's soft-boiled, but mostly hard-boiled eggs. Um, that's been wrapped in sausage meat that's, like, seasoned, um, and spiced, and then, uh, rolled in breadcrumbs and fried. It's, like, the best thing ever. It's so goddamn good. <laughs> like, homemade ones are amazing, but even shop-bought ones are pretty damn good, too. Like, they, they, they are just something else. And, yeah, they, they are, like, definitely one of my go-to favorite savory snack foods. You guys aren't so bad. Don't like you being the, the split-apart guy. Come on, snakey boy. Make your way down here. I like the way that, like, the snake slithers as he moves towards enemies as well. Whatever they did to make his pathing is, is good. Okay, nice. Okay, a little bit of an annoying floor here. Lots of large rooms and stuff. We should be okay. You'll probably take care of the flies here, so there you go. Hey, extra key. I like where we've got the little uh, swirlies on our face from the snake item, like uh, Jigsaw. Not quite what I was expecting, but there you go. Uh... This guy. Okay, this guy's got homing, so let's uh, take this easy. We do have spectral, which makes this guy a hell of a lot easier. In fact, I think I want to just focus on the baby while um, while we can, because we've got spectral. It's going to make this fight a hell of a lot easier. A snaky boy isn't as in tune with me in terms of who we're fighting right now, but that's fine. There you go. Makes our life so much easier. We take on this boy. Yeah, just, just went on a nice, lovely walk with my girlfriend. Uh, it's really nice weather at the minute, so yeah, I got to go on a nice walk. Take whatever this is. More speed. Don't mind it. Take whatever this is. A huge damage boost. Very happy with that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been lovely. Really, really nice weather in the UK at the minute, which is just a shock. So we got to go on a nice walk. Got ourselves a nice sweet treat. I got um, a... Um, a sh like a shoe pastry filled with cream and topped with uh, caramel. It was really good. Um, clears the room of every grid, pick up an enemy. Room cleared using the skip card, uh, do not contribute to active charge. Eh. Can also skip bosses of no item pistol dropping. Can be used against final bosses to skip phases, excluding the final phase. Okay, I guess it's worth holding on to then if it can skip big boss phases. Just gotta be aware that it can't skip the final phase. Um, we got ourselves white pepper. Unfortunate. We can reroll it though, at least. And ah, bugger. Okay. I like, hope for the best, but sadly, didn't get so lucky. We'll go do this extra big room here as well, um, just to see if we get like I don't know, lucky with a planetarium or something. Also, yeah, like our care rooms. I didn't really think about that. Okay, this is a potentially annoying room. Try and get something out of these poops here. Sadly, so far, just two pennies as, as all. Although one of them was a luck penny, but I don't mind that at all. Damn it, I tried to re-roll it after I picked it up, but that doesn't work. Blood Earth, of course. Absolutely useless for us. Blood Earth doesn't do too much for us here, sadly. 
We did get some bombs at least there. That wasn't that wasn't a bad reason to go to this extra bit. I don't I didn't mind that. Didn't mind that at all. But anyways, let's speed along. I'm glad we've got really high speed to be honest. That, two speed ups early doesn't seem like that valuable, but actually I'm pretty happy with it. Um two items here. We are one off getting one of these items. Any way that we can eke out an extra penny from somewhere. I suppose I could just blow up the reroll machine. Um, and try and get a penny that way and just buy whatever it rerolls into. Because we don't know what the items are anyways. And that's probably actually the best way of doing it, to be honest. Blow up the reroll machine. Hope it gives us a penny on blowing it up. It did. We can actually buy a half price item as well. Fanny pack, unfortunately, useless for us. Okay. So far, we have... Two items that are entirely useless for us, and we managed to reroll an item out of existence. So, in terms of that item gains, not amazing. Not amazing. But it is what it is. Ow, that was a really bad hit. Good. My skip card back. Yeah, not not great so far. Blood Earth will will always stay unbloodied. Permanently unbloodied. But at least I tried. At least I, I went the extra mile to try and get that penny so that we could potentially get some good out of it. It didn't end up working out for us, but I think that's all okay. I think that's all okay. Calm yourself down, my ladder. Good. Oh, shit. Don't get hit again. Oh, what the hell? Grant's flight uh, flips the player sprite. Unfortunately, that's not very good for us, but Jacob's Ladder, oh, baby. I feel like I get Jacob's Ladder as this character a lot, but I'm very happy with that. Very happy indeed, especially on a water level where we're getting the extra chains. Froggy boy. Love Jacob's Ladder. I just love the fact that it ch it works so well with, like, um, effects. Like, it'll spread the effect among the chain. So we need to get some effects that work with that. And then, obviously, Perfection makes that even better, which we'll be getting shortly. Dude, I need to be way more careful about how I'm uh, positioning myself right now. Keep getting hit some stupid stuff. Been to our item room. I don't know. We can still explore around. I, I'm feeling more inclined to uh, to look around at the moment. I don't know why. But yeah, the lengthier chains are really, really nice. Golden key in this room. Then we can go into our shop. And Froggy Boy, you are big dead. Um... Yeah, it doesn't really do much for us, does it? Sad times with the shops not really paying out. We do have a, a bedroom over there, but we don't have the bombs for it, so... We don't need to bother with it. And we got Fat Boy himself. Unfortunately, our damage is only okay right now. Luckily, we have a 1.6 times multiplier, so... That was close. Uh, so, it'll scale pretty well. But yeah, we're not doing a whole lot of damage right now. And Like I said, we really need a tier effect of some kind to up it a little bit, because... Fighting a guy like this big bastard shows how low our damage is. We shall take him out easily. Oh god. He actually hit me there. Alright though, we're good. We get ourselves... Do... I don't think we really need another speed upgrade. We'll try and re-roll it. And yes, I'm very, very happy with a good tears up there. That was perfection itself. Right, down we go. And I say, I, like, I'm reasonably happy with the speed up, and if we had another syringe, I'd definitely have taken it. But otherwise, it's just not all that useful. I wonder if I can use the skip card on, um, on the boss trap room to skip the bosses. I know that it's valuable for other reasons, but I kind of do want to test that. Yeah, toy drum. 
And then if we skip... Okay, it just skips one boss, unfortunately. It's, it's good to know, though. It's good to know. Yeah, Toy Drum. Pretty worth it, I'd say. It's a reasonable DPS increase. You're dead. Get that key real quick. Yeah, probably not a very valuable use of the skip card. I probably could have used it later down the line if we made it, but I kind of just thought, nah, just just go for it. Test it out with this. I, I was just wanting to see if it skipped both waves or not. I, I, I kind of thought it would, but sadly it did not. That's okay, though. Right, crack you open. Take on these little head boys. Good, -da, good. -da. Ooh, we got a little mammon beggar. I'll give him a go. Oh yes. Oh wait, no. I, I was like really excited about the damage badge then, but then realised I have to get rid of perfection to even hold it. Da the damage badge is really good. Strength badge. Oh, really? Come on now. But, sadly for our purposes, not so much. If we had another way to hold uh, trinkets, then it would be incredibly good. But yeah, perfection just has the chance to be amazing for us. It's not currently doing much for us right now. Although, it's, we are getting room drops from it, which is good. Come on, give us a good item. Not great. I, I keep getting that premature detonation item, like, over and over again. Oh, dude, those things shoot. I did not, was not ready for that. Um, yeah, I keep getting that premature detonation item over and over again, but not that into it right now. I'll uh, rather reroll for something else. Right, quickly check in here. Eh, I'll take these, why not? Bit of a risk, because they can explode. So there's a really small chance for them, for, for them to explode. And that would have uh, ended our run right there and then, but eh. Right. Foul gut. Do you know what? Do you know what? That was stupid. <laughs> for some reason, I was like, ah, foul gut will be good, because we'll uh, be able to generate flies off of the rotten hearts. Even though it doesn't give us HP up. And I was like, okay, that's that's a good usage. Picked it up and immediately realised, nah. That's that's not how that works. <laughs> Falgut does nothing for this character. So that was a bit of a whiff. It's weird, this is a good run, but we've, there's, there's been a lot of foibles. Secret room is looking like it's probably... Oh no, it's not where I thought it was. Well, I check this room now. Glad I checked this room, because I thought it was right up from here. It's probably here then instead. No, okay. Not knowing much about my secret rooms right now, are we? Okay, we're still killing stuff reasonably fast, though. I don't mind if we, we've messed up some of our items. As long as we're still doing reasonably well. And... Get that boy. I love the fact that we start with Eternal D6 as this character. It's so good. Okay, you're, you're going down very quickly. Wow. Nice and easy. Probably reroll that. We will take the Eye of the Occult. Hey, more tears up. Okay, good stuff this floor regardless, I think. I think we've actually set ourselves up for a really good run here. A really good run indeed. We'll take the Empress with us, why not? Two stone chests is tempting, but I've only got two bombs right now. Might come back to that later. Sadly, still no tier effect that's going to be working off of the back of Jacob's Ladder. We're still hoping for that. I'll reroll that. Pet Rock, you are a delicious friend, but 
I probably should re-roll you. Can we pick this up? Ah, damn it. The damage of that. Come on, can I get a room that gives me a charge, please? I don't have to trips back so far. Back we go. Is that a speed up we got in there? I think it was. Okay. Please don't disappear. What the hell? On use spawns a stone block. Attacking the stone block chisels it. A fully, ch um, fully chiseled stone block produces an aura that gives status effects to enemies and buffs to the player. I'm interested to try how this works. of interesting. Kind of interesting. Unfortunately, it doesn't let you place it where you want, which is slightly unfortunate. I don't know. It's it's decent, but I don't think it's worth keeping. It's It's got some legs, but I think we'd rather get some things passive and keep our reroll. Our reroll's too likely to be good in the future. Try and get under the charge on this bad boy. I thought that had nothing in it then. Yeah, it's, it's, it's intriguing, but it's not it's not quite what we're looking for. Dark rock? Yeah, the damage up is pretty good here. Should be pretty significant. The rest of the stats are down, it's like mostly fine. Right, quickly go back and try and re-roll again. We're doing a lot of back and forth, which is why I'm glad we have the speed up. So it's a pretty cool item, but I think on a run like this, it's not great. Really, another active? Could we stop, please? I don't know what the fuck's going on right now, but like this is a ludicrous amount of actives we've been given for a character that does not need them at all. quite frustrating, actually. It's quite frustrating. Um, not as much for us. Back again. Oh my god. I'll come back to that. Right. Ben, I don't care what passive you give me this time around. I'm just going to fucking take it. Oh, great. It re-rolled into nothing. What a good use of our time. Ugh. Come on now, game. It's just rude. You know it's rude. Fuck you. You know how rude that was. Like I said, we're still doing well. It's not like... Our run's bad without them, but it's like, come on, there's so many, there's been so many opportunities for items that we've missed out on now. Okay. I'm hoping not, but this could be the end of this run, because this guy is an absolute bitch. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? Okay, good, we got him. I hate that boss so much. Oh, for fuck! It's game! <laughs> We're missing out. It's like, we have missed out on so many items this run. So goddamn many items. It's, it's ridiculous. Red key? Okay, I will take red key. Why not? Um, pretty happy with red key here. Uh, I don't think I really care about that. It's good, but I think I'll, I want to re-roll it. I mean, I, I can't re-roll it anymore. I've got red key. Idiot. Idiota. 
Idi Ota. And we got a red chest here as well. Lovely. Brimstone Blast. Oh, hell. Hey! We got it. It's Berserk, unfortunately, so we'll be re-rolling that into... Ooh, yes. I don't think Bird's Eye scales off of luck, does it? Um, oh, no, it does. It does scale off of luck. Awesome. I thought only the other one scaled off of luck, but this one does too. This is some good shit for us. We've got fire and electricity. All we need now is the ice, and then we've... We've got quite a few elements going on. Okay. This bad boy up. Don't worry about those, to be honest. Oh my god, yes. It's unfortunate the fires don't get controlled with Ivy Occult as well. That'd be pretty cool if they did. Come on, these flies are so tanky. What the hell? Crack that open. Ow. Just like fishing for like devil deal rooms and stuff with red key now, I guess. Now we found our actual red room, we don't have to worry too much. Do you know what? This is a skip room. Oh yes, the fire has increased our damage output by quite a bit. By quite a bit. Empress, let's go. Yeah, thank god we got this bird's eye, because it's... I think our run was not looking amazing without it. Now it's, now it's pretty good. Now it's pretty damn good. Take Polaroid. Devil Deal. We'll take this. And then in here... There is not a single thing in there I want. I know I haven't done Boss Rush's as character yet, but if there's not a single item I even remotely want to take, then it's a big no from me. But yeah, we've got our little daggers here. Not going to focus too much on them, but if we get them upgraded, then so be it sort of thing. It's nice if it happens. I don't think we require it, really. Um, on use, will really spawn a collectible black heart, um... It did indeed spawn a book. Not exactly what I was looking for, but... Hey, her. Sadly, no red room here. Don't know if I'm going to be, like, fishing for the red rooms. It's just going to be if I get them, I get them. If I don't, I don't sort of thing. I think spending ages fishing for them and looking for them ain't my style. You guys know this already. You guys understand me. Understand my shtick. Did get hit there. Let's be careful. Ah, really? A room with nothing in it? Not even a fight? Come on now. Bit rude. God damn, we are absolutely speeding through rooms with these fires, though. I love them. Oh, the fire items, both of them on the Lost. So good with perfection. Okay, we found our boss already. Nice. Ooh. Item here that we can't take again. Yet another active. Like I said, we're getting really unlucky with those. Ah, bollocks. Very unlucky indeed. And then this time... Ah, tier size doesn't do much for us. Hey, This floor, we got it pretty much first time. Hey, and we get pentagram. Pretty, pretty awesome there. Very happy to have pentagram. You're slightly annoying. I'll, I'll put a bomb there. Dude, you charged that bomb directly into me. I didn't know that you could do that. Scared the hell out of me. 
don't know if we're going to do hush. It seems like a bad idea. Seems like a bad idea. Let me out. Let me out. God damn enemies. Some enemies just have such long death animations. What's that about? Gotta go in these and check it. By the way, I've realised I'm just leaving so many chests and stuff about right now, but we just don't need them. Like, a consumable game is absolutely fine. Like, maybe we'll get some items from stone chests and stuff, but otherwise, it's not particularly necessary. I know some people are the sort of people that, like, will grab everything and have 99 of everything by the end of the run, but I can just assess when I'm, like, at a point in a run where... I no longer need to worry about consumables and can sort of stop taking stuff. Fortunately, went the wrong way here. Back, back, back we go. Okay, these guys potentially a nuisance. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Nice one. Oh, we got skipped straight to the boss as well. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. Let me just cover the room in fire. There you go. Try and get some bombs in there where we can. Mainly let the fires do their work, though. No need to use bombs, but it just speeds up the fight, doesn't it? Devil deal. Get ourselves more damage, thank you. And we'll just go straight up, I think. No, I'm not going to do Hush Fight this time around. Like, if we had something a little more going on defensively, the fires are pretty good defensively, but if we had something a little bit more going on, then I'd go for it, but... Sadly, we do not. So much poop. Just go into the fires. Straight into the fires, there you go. Let's hope we go the right way here. Oh god. This guy's firing a lot of shots. Those enemies are interesting. The ones that, like, can't die until everything else dies. I think if you hit them, they, like, fire cross shots. Good. God, I love lost runs like this. It just... The run kind of, like, didn't feel like anything super special and we were missing out on a lot of items. Then all of a sudden, it's just like, boom. This one fire item has made you crazy good. Now blitzing through. And then, obviously, we've had a few damage ups after that as well, which has been really nice. Try and get all the gemstones here if we can. We don't need them, but... Extra damage is extra damage. What's, what's left here? Oh, there's one of you, I see. Dude, all of the goddamn red chests. Just constantly, it's like, here's a red chest, here's a troll bomb. That's all I ever get. Don't want goddamn troll bombs. Not using my red key, really, at all here, have I? Kind of forgot about the red key on this floor, I'll be honest. Whoopsie. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? What the hell was that bullshit? So, not only does that chest spawn randomly, um, but also, it doesn't hurt your holy mantle first. It just goes straight through your holy mantle and kills you. Well, that's an abrupt end to that run, but I hope you guys did enjoy nonetheless. That was a fun one. We got some interesting stuff going on towards the end there. And yeah, either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.